Hello. In this video, I want to explain how you can build conditional calculations. These are often used to interpret business logic to give you meaningful analyses. I'll show you several examples built using two market-leading visualization tools, Tableau from Salesforce and Microsoft's Power BI. Let's start with a look at the data that I'm going to be using in the video today. These are very simple data tables. It's just a list that I've made up showing some automotive brands, some vehicle colors, and the engine sizes. On the left, I'll show you what this all looks like in Tableau. And on the right, we'll see the equivalent view in Power BI. To start with, what I want to do is make a calculation that will run through the data and check to see which vehicles have the color red. So a very, very simple use case. Now, the basis of any conditional statement, really at its heart, is a statement that's actually going to be either true or false. And actually, in some cases, a simple true-false kind of result may be enough to get the job done. So let's have a look and see what this actually looks like in our BI tools. So in Tableau, you can see here I've got a, car, a function which I've called red cars, and I've simply said the color is red. And if you look on the right hand side of the screen, you can see I've done the same thing in Power BI. I've just said here's a, a function called red cars, and I've said in the data table, I'm looking at the color field and I'm saying it's red. And you can see in both of the tables, I'm getting a true false result. Now that Boolean result is actually quite uh, nice for a lot of cases. Um, I may be able to alter aliases and get a result like yes or no, um, or something else that I want here. I could alter the aliases to say red and not red, uh, but mostly I'm going to actually put this statement, put this logical test into a function that's going to be slightly nicer, slightly more uh, package. I always talk about this when I'm doing training and, and say, you know, we're going to gift wrap this. We're going to wrap it up nicely so that it gives a good result. So let's have a look at what that might look like. Now I'm starting off looking in Tableau and I'm using an if condition. And what that's doing is it's looking if the color is red and if that's true, then it's returning some text. And the text simply says red car. But this doesn't really do the complete job. If you look at the table on the left here, you can see a lot of blue patches where there's nothing coming back. And that's simply because Tableau hasn't been told what to do if the statement is false. And so it does nothing. And we're actually getting null values back here. Now to cope with that, in Tableau, I would add uh, an else clause. And that's really a catch-all that just says, if my statement is not true, then this is what you should do. Now in Power BI, there's actually a slightly different um, logic or a slightly different syntax to the if statement. And what that does is it looks for three inputs or three arguments. The first of those is a logical test. In this case, I'm saying the color is red. The second thing is, what do you want me to do if that statement is true? And in this case, I want it to say, give me some text saying red car. But it also says, what do you want me to do if the statement is false? And here I've simply said, tell me it's not red. And that's uh, a very, very basic, very, very common kind of uh, if statement at work right there. Tableau actually has a very similar function to this, by the way, is the IIF or the if function. Um, the syntax is exactly the same as the one Power BI uses. So again, here you'd have the logical test, which is the color is red. And then you'd say, what do I want to do if it's true? And what do I want to do if it's false? So you actually have that uh, option as well, if, um, if that's more familiar to you. Now, what do we do if we have a possible uh, multiple outcomes. So in this case, I want to go a little bit further than just testing for red cars. I want to test the color of the cars and I want to know if they're either red or blue. 
Um, and in fact, to be a little bit more precise, if they're red, I want a text to come back saying it's a red car. And if they're blue, I want a text to come back to tell me it's a, a, a blue car. And if both of those are false, then I want the function to come back and say, well, it's neither. It's not blue and it's not red. Now, I could do this by actually nesting those if uh, or IIF functions. So what I do there is I'd start off with the first test. And then if that test is false, I now do a kind of a subtest, which is my, my second test. The problem with that, though, is if you've got a long list of things that you want to test, it can rapidly get out of hand. It just gets too clumsy, too unoverviewable. And for that reason, I'd actually go for a different uh, way of writing this. And I would, um, in, in the tab case of Tableau, I would start looking at the ELSIF function. Now, the ELSIF function is, is quite a nice uh, addition here. It uh, basically lets me put a whole series of tests. And then for each one, I can say, what do you do if this test is true? And if that's not uh, true, then it will move on to the next one and say, well, what about this test? What do I do if this is true? And then again, at the end of all of that, I can put an else clause, which is a catch all and says, well, if none of these tests were true, then I want you to do that. Having said that, uh, in both of these, uh, in this example, what I'm actually doing is I'm looking at the color and then I'm saying do different things depending if the color is red or if the uh, color is blue. And there's an, a, a somewhat more elegant way of writing this in both Tableau and in Power BI. And that's to use a case or a switch function. In Tableau, it's the case function and in Power BI, it's the switch function. And here what I do is I simply say, I want you to look at this particular field. And then I'm going to give you a list of what I want you to do, depending on what you find. So I'm saying, if you find the color is blue, then I want you to give me some text saying it's uh, a blue car. If it's red, I want you to give me some text saying that it's a red car. And again, at the bottom, I can put that catch all to say, what do you do if neither of these are true? And you can see the the way that these are written, uh, very, very similar, in fact, in, uh, in both Tableau and in Power BI. And you can see the results that they give you in the result tables next to the calculation as well. Sometimes I may want to go a little bit further with my tests. Uh, I may have something a little bit more complex. For example, here, I'm looking at the engine sizes and I want to group those into classes or into categories. What I want to do is I want to take two or three different values and say, if they're smaller than this value, then it's a small engine. If it's larger than this value, then it's a large engine. And then everything else is in between those and it's a, a, a medium engine. So um, I, can, I can try and write that, but it actually won't work because the, in Tableau, the case statement won't let me simply put this kind of logic in. That case statement, is looking for specific values, and it only works if it can find those specific values. So I actually need to do this differently. And what I would do here is in Tableau, I'd actually go back to my if, else if, uh, and else uh, functionality. So I can write the series of tests that I want, and I can get the result back. Power BI actually has an alternative syntax for the switch function uh, that copes quite nicely with this kind of situation. So in this case, I am going to replace the reference to uh, my engine capacity field and simply replace that with a true. And then I'll go on and I'll give a whole series of tests and I'll say, what do I want you to do if this test is met? Uh, and at the end, I've got a catch all to say, well, if it isn't small and it isn't large, then it's medium. So in this short video, I've shared a very simple logical test that simply returns a true and a false. Um, and in both Tableau and Power BI, I can build on this to make more elaborate, more complex functions so that I can tackle the most uh, sophisticated business logic and make sense of that in my analysis. I hope you found the video interesting. 
and um, thank you for watching.